We are now joined in the studio by Julie Davis, the project coordinator at Wigan and Lee People First, and Jodie Peel, who is an advocate for the charity, to discuss the cuts further. Firstly, if you'd just like to, you know, explain what your charity is and what, you know, you do. Sure. We're a self-advocacy charity for people with learning disabilities. Um, and what we're really about is making sure that we um, give people with learning disabilities a voice and we talk about issues. It's really important that people understand their rights so that we make sure that they have a good life. Does that sound about right, Jodie? Yeah. Um, so obviously with the cuts that we are facing, how has it um, kind of affected you as an organisation but also as individuals, you know, with disabilities? It, it's a big concern for, for, for lots of reasons. I mean, uh, we're, we're worried about the impact in cuts in social care. For, for example, in our local authority area alone, they're proposing a £5 million cut from the social care budget. Now that can't happen without having an impact on people with a social care need. So we're quite concerned about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't get funded by our local authority, so that cut won't affect us but um, it's harder to get grants as a charity because more more groups that previously had local authority funding are we're all fishing in the same pool basically we're all looking for the same money and it, it's making it very difficult and there's a bigger need now to uh, speak up for the rights of people with disabilities yeah. because there's such a, a major impact on their lives at the moment you mm. mentioned how you don't get government grants or anything like that. Mm. So how do you, you know, fund your organisation? Do you do it via the media, social media? Uh, well, we use social media quite a lot, but that's really more uh, a really useful awareness tool, isn't it? So yeah. we're always we're always tweeting, and yeah. we use we use Facebook quite a bit as well yeah. as an organisation. Well, that's how we got in touch with you in the first that's place. True, yeah. that's true. Because we, I mean, for a small organisation, we've got fourteen and a half thousand followers on Twitter, which is quite large for a yeah. tiny charity. Um, but it's the main medium we get. There's a lot of grant-making bodies out there. We have to pr write a good funding bid, argue the case for a project that we think has value, and if they think their bid's good, we will get funding. But that's very difficult, very time-consuming, not straightforward at all. Okay. Um, you, well, I don't know whether you saw, but in the VT back then, Greater Schultz mentioned how, um, you know, in extreme cases that people have actually died because of, you know, they can't fend for themselves and, you know, because they haven't got enough money mm. to. Do you know any cases about this? And I mean, it's a horrendous thing that it's, this actually it's happened. It's particularly grim. I ha we haven't got any personal examples of that, no. have we? But I think, I think it's thinking about um, the impact of continually hearing in the media this is going to be cut that's going to be cut yeah. what would your life feel like mm. if you don't know that you'll have a roof over your house you'll have somebody to get you out of bed in the morning somebody to take you shopping to buy food yeah. um, and it's even things like with people who've got uh, social care needs and, and Jodie you've had this experience haven't you the cost that you have to pay towards your care has gone up hugely hasn't it uh, yeah. yeah I mean I live in it hard. all that and I need that help all the time yeah. and I don't like that and I, I have to pay a lot more. Yeah, I think, I think we worked out that Jodie's been asked to find yeah. an additional 34%. Yeah. Um, so that means she pays towards the cost of her care over £200 a month. You know, and this isn't negotiable. Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, Jodie's a feisty, outspoken woman, I think we'd agree. I mean, I, I will, uh, you, you want people to know about yeah. what's happening? Yeah, totally. Okay. And I think it's to, to realise genuinely okay. how it's affecting the day-to-day -day yeah. lives. I think there's a, there's a myth that people with, um, with more obvious disabilities are protected. And if I can just really stop you there, we are out of time, I'm that's afraid. Fine. You don't need to take a talk, but thank you very much. Yeah.